Morning, everybody. Chad, Adler Farms. If you're new here, welcome and howdy. If you're old here, welcome to howdy. Whew. And welcome to the first official vlog on Home 1.0. Pretty stinking cool. There's not a house out here, but this is still home. And I actually got my Oki Expo shirt on. Whoop. I actually uh, get asked that a lot, but I'm out here waiting on, what is wrong with this shirt? I'm actually out here waiting on a skid steer to be delivered. Uh, the John Deere 336G that you saw in my brother and sister-in-law's video. And we're gonna tear into this stuff. So I rented the one with the brush cutter on it. I did not go with the mulcher. Uh, the guys that rent it to us, they actually drop it off, pick it up the whole nine yards. I've got it from Friday morning until Monday morning. And I'm pretty stinking excited, but I sent a video to the guys we're renting it from of the property. And I said, what would be best? And they said, well, you don't have, like there's a lot of mature trees, but they're not everywhere. So he said, I don't suggest the mulcher. Cause he said, you really want to see it. That's where this came from. He said, you really want to see it green before you just go tearing things down. And he said, you know, anything you don't want, this brush cutter will take out up to an eight inch diameter tree. So I haven't shown you guys this, but we'll walk over here while we're waiting. He's literally supposed to be here any minute. We've got this little barn over here. I call it a barn. I don't know what else to call it, but it's got like calving stalls in it. It's got a doggy door on this side. I don't know what it was used for, but it's actually right by my electric meter as well. So this is what we're up against. Now, this is an oak tree, obviously, and I'll probably leave that. Um, it's got some buds on it, okay? So it's not dead. Those leaves just didn't come off somehow. But this stuff right here, these are the thorns that we're talking about. That, whatever that is, is the exact stuff we're after tearing out today, okay? That's all gotta go. But this little barn, right? this is an awesome little barn right here. Awesome. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I say barn, uh, the peak right there, 10 feet. So not huge, but enough to park a little tractor in. A couple stalls, I'm not sure. But see like this right here, we gotta get that out of there. That's how long this has been vacant. So I don't even know what's over there because we can't get through this. Um, I did take my four wheeler on quite an adventure. You can see where I came through here the other day, just making sure I wasn't gonna fall in any holes with that skid steer. But my neighbor, who you guys will meet, um, who we've become very good friends with. He's got a, you know, 50 horsepower tractor, I think. Oh, there's my, there's my pole, obviously. So that's why we got to clean up around that, our utility pole. Our neighbor has like a 50 horsepower tractor. So if we get stuck, we can get out. I just wanted to make sure there weren't any like unforeseen holes over there. I was going to fall in and get stuck, but hey, speaking of, hang on a second. All right. Took a time out to talk to the neighbor. That was him leaving. You guys will meet him someday. Probably pretty soon. So he's been kind enough. He and his wife, they, uh, he's got a little subcompact tractor and a big, like, uh, like I said, think 50, 50 horsepower, maybe 40 horsepower, uh, with a cab and everything. So we'll be able to use it when we want, but I'm still waiting on, still waiting on my equipment. It was supposed to be here at 9 AM. It ain't here yet. So I don't know where he's at, but we're not out in the boonies out in the boonies. It's not too hard. Google maps finds us if you know where to look, but this is what I want gone. I want all this gone right here. We want to take, we want to make this, all of this look like that. Well, not that mess, but this right here, that's what we want. So that's the goal. Once the guy gets here, he said somebody dropped off the machine with a pin or something, missing a part, he had to run to John Deere. I don't know. I do what I say and I say what I'm gonna do. Do I hear something? Nope, that's a plane. We got a lot to do. I'm ready to do it once he gets here. 
so I guess we'll just walk around and hang out, but take a good look at it. Uh, we got some big dirt piles we're gonna spread out because it does have, I got a smooth bucket and a tooth bucket. Sorry about the wind. I got a smooth and a tooth bucket coming. So we'll be able to attack those uh, dirt piles. So anyway, I confirmed. We got a couple pecan trees on the property and we got a mess of persimmon trees right there. And I thought about leaving one or two of them, not all of them. All that right there, I want that gone. We can't even get in there. That's higher, that's taller than me. That's like nine, 10 feet tall. And our property goes, see that trash pile? That's not mine, that's just on their side. So I wanna get rid of that. I believe that cedar tree right there is on the property line. But it's crazy to look this way and see all of that land. It's 330 feet that way from where I'm standing and 330 feet that way. It's crazy to think that there's as much land here as there is there. And I haven't even, we haven't even been on it. I don't even know what's over there. But I am out here solo today, but Ray gets off work here in a little bit and then she'll come out and I'm actually texting Case. He's at home minding the dogs. And I'm actually texting Case about every 45 minutes to an hour, you know, so everybody isn't worried about if I'm okay or not. So just waiting on equipment. Just waiting on equipment. By the way, ignore my eye. I don't know if you can see it through my glasses or not, but it's not pink eye. Some kind of allergy that's going around. So I got some drops for it. Yeah, it's all good. I don't think I'm going to lose it. So that's the good news. Woo-wee! Look at that bad boy. So here's a smooth bucket. There's the tooth bucket. And here's the beast. My goodness, she's pretty. Woo! So to give you an idea how tall this is, about seven feet. Big ol' big old brush cutter to say the least what's under there Whoop, that's a wheel so shine blades i think we're sitting like 100 horsepower oh man she's looking good blue now Let's party. We've got a new acrylic door, so can't hurt that. <clears throat> or if you do hurt it, you were really working hard. So yes, I got a uh, pew pew. We don't know what we're gonna see out there. I mean, let's stick it right there. Safety's on, all that good stuff, calm down. I'm not looking to go after anything so, go there Woo. first off it's hotter than a stinker in here wow air conditioning that's what i'm talking about that's my favorite button so i got sensitivity controls i'm gonna go ahead and crank it up just a little bit because i've run one of these before not this beefy uh I've run like a 60 or 70 horse uh the orange the orange brand which I like, but just in case John Deere sees this, let's just talk about John Deere today. So I got a radio. Yep. Can't listen to that though. All right. Let's fasten the old seatbelt. That's important. Doggone it. One smooth motion. There we go. Make sure the uh, arm there don't hit the pew. Woo! That was close. You guys all right? All righty. What else do we need? Parking brake off. Watch out. Hey guys, hate to interrupt this video, but don't forget my very first 
video on Ray's Ranch and Rescue comes out at 8 p.m. tonight, Central Standard Time. Where we pet animals instead of eat them. All right, and he said this thing will take down an eight inch tree. So let's see if he's telling the truth. That's probably six. Okay, so we got a. All right, they're engaged. Start here slow first, guys. Hang on, it's still a little touchy for me. There we go. guys that have done this a hundred times, you're probably like, dude, just go. But hang on. This is an expensive piece of equipment. We want to take our time. I'll show you what I'm doing here behind me in a minute. We'll spin around and look. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, enjoy the music. This is what we really want to get rid of right here. Yuck. That was awesome. That was awesome. starting out here is I can't really hurt anything there's some rocks but like I don't want to start near the pond yet I want to get a feel for the controls and how touchy it is which what's really nice is so there's my meter everything's overhead what's really nice is being able to adjust the sensitivity I am not used to it. Obviously we're not gonna run through that trash. Brush, brush hogs. That's why I know I'm safe. So I'm kind of getting a feel for when the blades slow down. Obviously, that's when you slow your machine down.
gotta give me one of these. Yeah, so you turn that sensitivity down, you can just go right along your fence there. I got a water meter. There it is. The water meter's right off the front of the bucket there. Or I should say a water tap. There's no meter there yet. All right, let's see what we did. I know that was a long trip around the horn, but let's look here. So all this right here is what I've already done making short work of it. I mean, I'm crazy impressed. Not that I had any reason to doubt, but it's incredible. bunch of rocks in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. Like huge rocks. Let me show you. See those? Those are like twice the size of a basketball. Like you can't pick them up, but you also can't run over them. I can pick them up with a bucket here in a little bit. Let's start with, uh, this right here is about 330 feet, this section I'm going to do. So we'll do it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Cool. Well, it's working really well. That's all that used to, all that right there used to look like that. But 
I broke something. I didn't break it. I'm not actually sure what broke, but I was driving along and I wasn't filming just because you guys would watch hours and hours of footage if I did. Like, they, 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 yeah, that's why I wouldn't. That's why I wasn't filming. But anyway, it just something came unquirked. All right, somebody's probably gonna be able to look at this and be like, "Dude, it's right there. Just tighten that bolt and you'll be good to go." Do, do, do. Listen, I don't know. It ain't my equipment. I ain't touching it right now. I, <laughs> right now, it's not my fault. But I don't know that it's anybody's fault. These machines, especially that one, the brush cutter, they're under a lot of pressure. And that's like an internal housing that holds that. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the wind. The internal housing that holds that. Um, it, I mean, and it, a hose could have come loose inside. You know, who knows? So what I did was I detached it. I called the guys. They're going to send somebody out. Um, and in the meantime, I do have that tooth bucket, which will do a lot of this. I mean, here, I'll show you. This is what I'm doing. I mean, look at that. This stuff, that's 12 feet high. So anyway, nice little trash pile going there. I've got that tooth bucket on there now. And it'll do a lot of the same stuff. It just doesn't have that mulching effect. Like it's not gonna return, you know, stuff to the earth. But I'll show you right here. So this is what happens when you don't have the mulcher. That's what happens when you have the mulcher. It is a significant, there's two lines. It is a significant difference, but I had a potty break and I thought about it. So we've got some uh, hills and dirt and things that need to be spread around. So I'm actually gonna go attack those with this tooth bucket versus just driving around and not doing what I paid this. I paid for the mulcher. So I don't wanna just drive this tooth bucket around. It'll, it'll work, but if they're going to come out here and fix that, I'm just going to go work on those dirt piles, which I need to do anyway. That was like tomorrow's project. So we're going to go do that. I may even go ahead and rip that fence out right over there. Like I'm just going to drive into it like this, a forklift and just pull that fence, T-post and everything out. So. All right, here's the deal. <clears throat> Apparently there's an O-ring on top of that housing on top of the, I've actually been doing work, that's why I'm breathing hard. I wish I was sitting in that. Boy, I got a trim yesterday. I don't know, man, I don't know if I like this cut. I call this the Jedediah, in my opinion. But anyway, <laughs> you're welcome, Jedediah. Anyway, I don't know anybody named Jedediah, but I'm sure somebody watches. So, right here, right there, something wrong with the uh something wrong with the flux capacitor i don't know you got to be going so fast for it to work but can't be going too fast can't let anybody see you when you get over there or something like that but hang on oh there we go okay that's not too bad shield from the wind but anyway, I'm waiting on the old boy to get back. He's, he called John Deere, it's a common problem. Thanks John Deere, just narrowed down my search for uh, a zero turn. But I, I, I like John Deere, but I also don't want a stamped deck. That's courtesy of my neighbor and my dad. We need a welded deck, so we're looking. If anybody's a mower company out there, a pretty big one already reached out to me. So if you're watching this, yep, better make it off for pretty, pretty darn cute. Per darn quick, PDQ. Anyway, I was running the tooth bucket through this and I don't know if you guys have ever seen a hydraulic leak, but this bucket, this tooth bucket I'm sitting on still needs hydraulic fluid. And when that hose popped, hydraulic fluid went everywhere, just like that. In case you missed it, just like that, okay? And I just, 
right now none of this is my fault and those boys know it so it's brandon and seth and uh i think i don't did either i went to school with them or my brothers went to school with them i don't know but good old boys but there's nothing they can do they're 30 45 minutes away so they're coming they're bringing a new o-ring we hope that fixes it if it doesn't they just add on the hours that it's been sitting and i get it that much longer so they're making it right it's not like this messes me up, you know, hugely or something, hugely, bigly. It's not like it messes me up this big, that bad, whatever the word is. I'm just going to keep working. Um, I still got to get that pasture over there between my neighbor and I ready for the Burger Brothers on Sunday. I don't know when you guys will see that video, but I still got to string it up with hot wire. There's plenty of barbed wire right here to work on, but currently right now, I'm not touching that machine because I'm sure it's worth way more than I want to know. And whatever it's not running ain't my fault. So we're just going to let her sit. I don't care if it sits for a week. And uh, when they get here, we'll let them fix it and go from there. So I think that machine right there, he said, it's only been rented a couple times. And he rented by the day. Now, O-ring, in case you didn't know, O-rings, they're not designed to fail but it's okay if they do, you just pop a new one in. They're usually like three or four bucks. But he said they've only rented that a couple of times. They rent it by the eight hour day. I think I'm invading someone's space. They rent it by the day. There's a lovely little bird just chilling right there. They rent it by the day. Did I say that already? And it's only been rented a couple of times. So we're talking probably less than, I don't know. 64 hours on it and the o-ring pop now it's under a lot of pressure but you know i'm not really taxing it out here this isn't terrible it ain't been brush hogged in three or four years with that machine right there this that machine don't even break a sweat out here so it is what it is so what i'm doing right now is just taking out all this barbed wire because i want all this mess gone i want to plant some real pretty trees right here uh we've worked with stark brothers in the past um the tree center, fast growing trees. We've worked with several tree companies and I'm gonna get something that'll be real pretty right here. I really want one of those uh, red maples. I've got one at my old house, which I still have for a few months, but I'm having a hard time keeping it growing. So hopefully out here though, as wet as this ground is, we'll be able to uh, keep something alive. So, but right now, I'm doing something that ain't any fun to watch. So I just figured I'd check in with you and let you know where I'm at. Ray's probably gonna be here any soon, any minute. Can you guys tell I'm working hard? I really have been. Man, I, this this cut is, uh, yeah. I came in on a horse and buggy. Anyway. <laughs> Ray, Ray also got me, I'm gonna tattle on her. Ray also got me some kind of beard conditioner, which I think is why it's fluffy. I've never used beard conditioner in my life. Never. And now here we are. I got a fluffy beard. So I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, yeah. All right, so that old boy, he lives way over there. But he's had free reign in this property for the last seven years and they keep letting him out he just runs free so i'm gonna have to do field fence around the property to keep him off because i got a feeling he and smoky i don't know if he's intact or not but i don't want him with smoky i don't know if he's 100 percent pyrenees or not but either way i don't want that happening so we're gonna have to figure something out i told the neighbors about him and i can't imagine what they said but I'm gonna tattle, they might see this someday, who knows. Not the, not, these aren't the cool neighbors. I haven't even met these neighbors. I just heard it through the grapevine, but I heard it through a real, a real stout grapevine, so I know it's true. But they may have said, well, it's a farm. If, you know, he gets out and runs on your property and kills your chickens, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's a, that, that's a pet. That dude's got a name. So anyway, I have sent a couple of uh, pieces of freedom candy near him and I'm a pretty darn good shot and I knew I wouldn't hit him no matter how far he moved. I, I did it right and he's pretty scared of me that's why he won't come over here but the problem is 
his path is my driveway almost every day. I think a couple times a day. So we got to get him to move on. But for right now, I just wanted to update you. I'm going to keep working on this mess right here and uh, get it cleaned up. And they're on their way back to fix it. I don't know if it'd be tonight. I don't know if it'd be tomorrow morning. I don't know. They may even get here and not be able to fix it. He asked me if I had a wrench. And I said, I do, but it ain't mine. You're going to fix it. So, no, he, they're going to make it right one way or another. I'm not worried about it one bit. That's why I hired him. Well, we'll see you guys after a bit. I'm going to keep working. Yeah, I think that's, it. that's all the stories I got. We'll check in with Ray if she gets here later. There she sits. Son of a gun, man. Woo. All right. Ray's out here. She'll be out here in a second. She'll come out. But I got three passes on the heaviest brush on the property. And the main shaft broke on the deck of the brush cutter. So that was all she wrote. He came and picked it up. And, uh. It's gone for a couple days. They left me their skid steer. So there's a $100,000 paperweight. So if you're watching this, sorry, I didn't just call it a paperweight. My bad. But anyway, it's all right. They left me the bucket, but there's not much I can do with it because the ground's so wet. And I've rented this for the brush cutter. Nothing else. Um, even trying to move those mounds over there, I didn't film it very much because when you stick your bucket into those mounds of dirt, whoop, right there, the ground's so wet. When the bucket's fully loaded, you can't back up. It's just too wet. But it's no big deal. It's just, you know, just wait till it dries out. But those aren't my worry. What I wanted was this gone. And we're just going to have to wait a little bit. So it is what it is. But anyway, yeah. Still pretty out here. I mean, I was just kind of complaining to Ray a little bit. And, you know, what a problem to have. You know, your skid steer broke while you were clearing land. Like that was your job today. That was, this is what I had to wake up to. Look at that. So it's really hard to complain about that. Plus I got a smoking hot fiance. So anyway, that's it. We're actually going to take the skid steer down to the pond because vehicles would actually get stuck right now. We need to get base rock in here next. Um, let me know your comments down below. There's some mesh that you can put on a driveway to keep the base rock from sinking. Would that help right here? Uh, you know, let me know. I don't, I, I don't know how expensive it is. I know nothing about it. If it's crazy expensive, we got four wheel drive. I ain't doing it, but let me know. So we're going to take the skids here down there and check out the pond and the sunset and all that stuff. And yep. You want to drive it? <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you guys didn't know, we have a channel in the works called Ray's Ranch and Rescue. And we've got some video of us at an auction a couple weeks ago where we tried to buy something but realized we couldn't take it across state lines as hard as somebody tried. <laughs> but felt like mules or like we were sneaking stuff across the line. There. <laughs> but anyway, go over there because we're actually heading to another auction this Thursday. Mm -hmm. And there'll be the second video. But anyway, link down below. You guys know how it goes. But what? Try it again. <laughs> it doesn't, push, there's no push button, Scoot the seat back. Try it again. <laughs> oh. Stop. Who's you? <laughs> Babe, listen, this That's... is a small cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of them airs it up and one of them releases it. So, you want me to do what now? <laughs> no, it's too, it's, it, we might, one of us is too big for this machine. Like so let's put this overhead. Oh, hang on. You got me handcuffed down here. There we go. All right, put the seatbelt on. There you go. All right, now we're safe in here. We're not as crowded as we look. And we're not, we don't even have a bucket on it. We're just going to drive down to the pond. But this stands far less chance of getting stuck than anything else. too hard.
hard. Don't overread. God bless. Deuces.